We're coming to you live from Stairway to Heaven Arena in beautiful downtown Purgatory. And it's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. Hey, who just turned you into some generic classic rock DJ dipshit? That's the best you can come up with for an intro. How about a nice simple here's the fucking kickoff? Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers and lots of lots of beers. The Galaxy Chaos face off against the Full Metal Mayhem. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> everyone, Grim Blitzrow with you on MFL Game Day. Hey, uh, Fricks, do you smell something burning? Ah, uh, thanks for reminding me. I left my rubber foot in the toaster oven to warm it up. Last time I left it there too long, it came out like Saganaki. Oppa! Uh -huh. It's freezing in here. Hey, why don't you take a shampoo and ouzo, stick your head in the toaster oven. That'll warm you up. And it's first and ten. <laughs> for a first down. And it's first and ten. He took a beast boost injection. Now watch him stomp all over his opponents. I want to take a beast boost injection too. Uh, now that is weird side effects, Bricks. And it's first and ten. He's not going down. First down. He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. First down and five. And he snags it for six. Touchdown! Touchdown! Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Goes right through. Yeah, like a double step burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. Second down, and ain't gonna happen, partner. Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. in the past. Hey, yeah, uh, Bricks, check the rule book. Is that a penalty? Why would I have the rule book? Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> 
third down in the QB. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. Third down and never going to happen. Talk about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my offseason. And it's first and ten. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. It's a touchdown! Shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It's good. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. First and ten. And he rumbles for nine on that play. And that'll bring up second and one. And the defense calls a strawberry field's dirty trick. Now this takes me back to those crazy days. Of oh, with the brutal hit. <laughs> Third down in a sliver. <laughs> and they'll line up for the punt here. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. Nice catch. And he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league have a life expectancy of three. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. I had this guy on my fantasy team. The team getting penalized needs to go into their dirty tricks and attack the ref. Come on, guys, get with it. Attack him and kill him. Jeez. They're back up here on first. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery.
First down in a mile. Knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. Second down and ten. And that's how you run it, folks. Picks up eight there. Third and two. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. And he runs it in for the touchdown. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. It's the end of the first quarter, and I just want to say that this is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. Other than my mother-in-law, of course. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Slap in the face by the defense. Oh, that's me in the hotel bar every night. Hey, your opening line needs work. Why? Really? What's a pretty girl like you doing here all by herself? Are you a hooker? Well, it's a fair question. Oh, what a brutal hit. And it's first and ten. First down! Yeah, my next door neighbor was a human cannonball, Grim. He drowned in his pool. And it's first and ten. <laughs> oh, the defender just knocked the ball loose. No, that'll wake you. Then put you to sleep permanently. You snooze, you lose! Uh, unless you're in a sleeping contest. Second down and ten. Third down and five. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. First and four. One speed, and that's just a great run for a touchdown. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. 
Second down and nine. First and ten. Let me tell you, getting shocked is no joke. I used to wear triple wool socks, slide around on a shed topper for eight hours so I could shock my younger brother. I went to change the TV channel. He got blown across the room into the deer antlers. And it's first and ten. Great catch, and that's a touchdown! Touchdown! Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. He is running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. And it's first and ten. The quarterback just threw a sonic blast to his receiver, knocking down, and then a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. First and ten. Kaboom! And the quarterback unleashes it. It's a gain of seven yards on the catch. Nicely done. And 
we're at the two minute warning folks stay tuned for the halftime show second and three Nicely done for a first down. The offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. So you can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. And it's first and ten. Killer, it was right there, and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Second down and ten. And he just oh, he just got crushed. They've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. And it's first and ten. And he catches it for a touchdown! What a beautiful play! Yeah, it's almost poetic, man. Like a haiku! Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It's good. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Now, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. Well, fee five fo fum. Oh, and the defender knocked the ball out when he was in midair. It is a fumble indeed. Fumble Manji! The new game from Wilton Crabtree. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. <laughs> and it's first and... And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. Hot one, hot two, hot Quick pass, picks up maybe two yards. And, then, and the offense quickly calls their second timeout. That's how you do it. Do what? The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! Call a time warp dirty trick, negating that play completely. The offense is pissed. Well, I wish I had that trick in the elevator with me earlier. I let one rip. I mean, a really good one, Grim. And then the doors open and the team's cheerleaders get on. <laughs> That's what small talk is really put to the test. And this field goal is certainly within the kicker's range. Straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. And 
that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It, it means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. <laughs> In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. <laughs> And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. We're back for the second half as the teams line up for the kickoff. The coach told his players they'll be strung up on the goalpost if they don't make this a game in the second half. That's how you motivate these pricks. <laughs> Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, Here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. And he held on to that one for a first down. It's first and ten. Good thing to make a drift. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. He's at the ten. Go! If you ever do that again, Bricks, I'll shoot you in the head. But people like it. Well, why go for one when you could go for two? It's always been my philosophy, but Bricks can't even get one. Oh, you're talking about... And they run it in for two points. Remember that movie Alien from like 100 years ago? His great great friend Poppy was that cute little alien that popped out of that guy's stomach. Yeah, he ended up marrying some sitcom star, if I remember right. Yeah, ate her at the wedding dinner after popping out of the cake. Good memory, Grim. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. And it's first and ten. Finds its target. A pickup of six yards on the play. And that'll be second down and four. And the quarterback calls a sonic blaster. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. First down and nine. A nice run there for eight yards. And that'll bring up second and one. Perfect pass and a score!
Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. Uh, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Oh, with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. Oh, man, what a throw. That sonic blast just cleared the field for the receiver. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. And it's first and ten. up a new set of downs and it's first and ten that's the way to move the chains that's good for a first down this game is all about momentum and killing and it's first and ten Once and got a shot like that. It wasn't licorice, you idiot. It was the frayed cords of the leaf blower. Well, it was a red cord and it looked like licorice. The point is, ah, I forgot my point. It's a time warp dirty trick. The last play is a race. How did they do that? Did they go 88 miles per hour? Just asking. Defender lays down a wicked hit and knocks the ball loose. The receiver just got smashed. Not as bad as me last night. He may be dead, but trust me, he's in better shape than I am right now. Oh, geez, here it comes. Whoa. Second down and ten. And that's a pick. And now the... Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. He refuses to go down. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. The offense just burned the defense pretty hard on that one. That well, is still edible, though. Just got to scrape off the charred parts. Third down and eight. And with a burst of speed, he finds an opening and the first down. First down and six. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pen, at some point they're gonna need to put this ref out of his misery. Uh, how about now, for instance? Here's a hit. Dirty tricks attack the 
around. And this is a first and long. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. First down and forever. I personally think that the ginormous guy is compensating for something, but I won't be the one to tell him. And they went to the air and came up big. Second down and more than the QB would like. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Hey, Bricks, they're going for two here. And he plows forward for the two-point conversion. team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! <laughs> and it's first and ten. Oh, and that's what it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had And that brings us to the end of the third quarter. They'll need to fire on all cylinders to make a comeback in the final quarter. And that'll be second and eight to go. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five on that play. Three. And the defense spiked the offensive water with Strawberry Fields. And now they can taste sound but can't remember what the concept is. And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it? takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is in palm grim. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? And it's first and ten. quarterback for a sack. <laughs> Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. forever oh great play he is on that receiver like glue you know when i was little my dad used to make me eat glue my tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth and i couldn't talk your father was a very smart man bricks very smart and he put all of his foot into that one 
The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? And it's first and ten. And the defense calls the thunderclap dirty trick. Man, that's got to hurt. Gonna make the hair on your corpse stand straight up. And it's first and ten. It's two-yard run before he stopped. And that'll be second and eight to go. Oh, nice hit! And it's first and ten. Second down and long. Oh, man, he really burst down. I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. And he runs it in for the touchdown. He is really getting down out there. You know, he spends most of his days roasting in the pits of hell, so he's got to make the most of every opportunity to dance. And here comes the extra point attempt. right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brent's match stupid time. That's why the girls call me Spin. That pass play was good for three yards. Second down and seven. I'm pretty sure my baby sister can throw further than that. But she doesn't have to play against goddamn monsters. Sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. Man, these guys have metal balls. They're going to try to pick up the first down here. Did they get Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. And it's first and ten. Just follow the bloody footprints to the new line. That's a first down. And it's first and ten. Only two minutes left in the game. And it's first and ten. Uh, is the game over yet? I gotta go to the vet to have him reattach my big coat to where my tongue was. The defense calls timeout. They must be trying to get on their QB's good side. Second and three.
And they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And the offense goes into a hurry-up to pick up the pace of the game. And then it's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry-up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry-up, too? He rifled that one in there, and they come up with 10 yards on the play. Second down in the side. Well, that's two timeouts burned. And you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Grim. But it really is hard to do both at the same time. And I have mastered it. You can't keep a good mutant down. And that is called for a first down. First down and six. That's it. That's their last time out. It's them against the other team and the clock. Well, that doesn't seem fair. I'm going to throw a hammer on the field and even the odds. Second down in a muffin says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. The quarterback goes into a hurry up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Quinn? Aren't we all? And that is a big gain. You know the defense wants some payback after that. Third down and never going to happen. And that's the way you do it. Eat up chunks of yards with pinpoint passing. And they're going to have to sell their souls for this to matter. Lucky for them, I know a guy. And that was well played. The defense anticipated a pass and put an end to the offense's drive. Not tonight, fellas. And it's first and ten. Defense holds him to a four-yard pickup there. Throw up the horns and throw up the W. Full metal mayhem win. After a stomping like that, the opposition may be a permanent part of the field. More like a graveyard, Grim. There are body parts everywhere. And speaking of body parts, that I have a tell you Let's listen to the MVP. I'm sure he has something inspiring to say. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...